Hey guys, Brandon here. Um, I just want to do a quick video to revisit a news item from about a month ago. This is um, a uh, fatal accident involving a Tesla Model S. This is um, the Site Electric's uh, write-up of this. This occurred on the uh, 405 freeway in um, Southern California near Long Beach. And um, basically there was a uh, a guy driving his two daughters, which were in the back seat. One was um, seven or ten year old, I'm not sure, and the other was 13 year old. Uh, anyway, and then an S they were in traffic in the carpool lane, and then a large SUV uh, slammed into them from the back. Um, and then you can see the crazy damage that was done here. And then up here you can see the Honda Civic that the uh, Model S was pushed into. Um, here's a write-up from the uh, OC register. Orange County is um, is where Long Beach is. Um, here's another picture of the rear end damage, um, which is pretty extensive, and then again the Honda Civic. Interestingly in this picture you can see a Tesla Model X in the background, which is interesting. Um, anyway, I wanted to bring this up because this was, besides being a um, particularly disturbing story because uh, one of the girls in the back seat ended up dying um, from the accident. Um, it sort of called into question like what happens in a severe rear end accident accident with the Model S um, because you know as we know it was um, uh, Musk had a personal interest in designing the safety from the back um, of the Model S. And the news articles that I read, they just said the girls were in the back seat. It didn't. It, they never mentioned if this Tesla had the um, jumper seats in the back, uh, which in, which would um, address like, did this Tesla have the reinforced bumper in the back? And I couldn't find any information on that. So um, I actually called the California Highway Patrol and talked to uh, one of the spokesman's officers who was familiar with this. Uh, case his name was Tom Joy and he told me that the two girls were in the middle seat they were not in the rear um, so they they were in the generic uh, middle seat and so this car would not have had the um, reinforced bumper in the rear here um, I think this picture is a little bit clearer um, so that was I thought that was kind of important because um, you know with, with this level of damage I feel very, very uncomfortable having smaller kids in the jump seats in the back. Um, but knowing that this was um, unreinforced or just, you know, uh, the usual strength for a rear um, bumper, um, then that's that's a little better. I mean, obviously it didn't uh, obviously it didn't uh, help the occupants in the, in the middle seat. But there's other factors that could go on there too, like you know severe whiplash injuries and head injuries and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I also wanted to point out there is on the Tesla forums, this guy, Pungatig Dave, um, has this long uh, post uh, from a while ago where he took his Tesla Model S bumper off and apparently you can order, you can get the part, or at least you could then. This is the reinforced uh, this is the bumper reinforcement or the double bumper that goes in the back and he actually added it to his own uh, vehicle so that's where it goes right there it's pretty low um, and that's that's what helps protect protect occupants in the back jumper seats so I was thinking like well I wonder if I wonder if that should be on all Model S's or something like that and I don't really think so because at least for my preferences if I if I had occupants back here, then yes, I would want that to be more rigid. But if I didn't have occupants back here, I would actually want this space to be used to absorb impact because the more impact that gets translated to occupants in the middle seat is going to enhance their injuries. Um, so anyway, um, not the coolest or the happiest uh, topic, um, but it's something that I've been trying to follow up on for quite a while. and. Uh, finally heard it from the California Highway Patrol officer's um, uh, own voice uh, that the, uh, to his knowledge, this Model S did not have the reinforced bumper. So there you go.